this Saturn Jupiter conjunction is making me feel like I'm being squeezed through a birthing canal. So I just wanted to check on all of you guys, see how you guys are feeling. I've been getting waves this last couple of days of going back and forth between dimensions of consciousness and I can feel this like this deep like rebirthing feeling that's coming with this need to just be gentle and like you know really tune inside and not get distracted and I've been like writing a lot of letters and burning them and yeah just clearing all of the clutter in our lives is so incredibly necessary so that we don't get held back and get stuck because we're holding on to old patterns that don't serve us. I've been getting a lot of messages about to see evolution and how the, the Divine Feminine has had to stand strong on her own and she's had to find herself in a world that isn't safe for her to be alone in and now the divine feminine is asking to soften it's asking to be receptive it's asking for us to allow for her to blossom and flourish and the divine feminine needs to be able to temper that fire within her, that fire within her that she's had to have standing alone in this dense reality. And the divine masculines, for what I'm seeing is, and for what I feel with the divine masculine within myself, is that we've had to learn how to be, you know, proper gentlemen, but also, you know, grow in this world. Because like, what I keep getting is like, Lumerians and like Atlanteans and like, how Atlanteans were so rough and, you know, forceful and Lumerians allowed for that energy to just walk all over them and it's like we've grown this masculine energy that is able, that to, is be able to be balanced in the masculine energy and I feel that it has taken centuries upon centuries for those two very different energies to merge and to be able to live in harmony and i feel that that is with the you know overbearing and controlling and forceful and warring masculine energy that out of alignment masculine energy that takes what they want from other people that is merged with this gentle kind soft sweet loving balanced masculine balanced in his divine feminine and feel like it has taken this long for us to teach that that you know hothead part of us to temper and to soften and i feel that as the the masculine and feminine come together in balance it's like there's this need for both to continue to overcompensate for the other and the only way that it comes together is through balance and so that means that even though that the feminine has had to be very strong and hard and unwavering she that needs to learn how to soften when the time is right and 
to allow for more of that ability to flow with nature naturally to come out and I'm seeing that her softness makes the divine masculine weak and that's going to be scary for everyone involved and so it's like I'm, I've just been getting this message that it's like this resurgence of this Lumerian energy where we don't allow people to walk all over us but it's about bringing back that that divinity within each and every one of us and stepping more into that alignment of of truth and flow and Great. grace and ease and there feels like there's so much anticipation just as there would be if you were about ready to give physical birth everybody's so excited to see the baby and you know the parents are nervous and there's just that whole energy around this process of like remembering the truth and learning how to manage these egoic abilities we've had to master in order to master in order to live on this planet you know a lot of people want to make an enemy of your ego or your protection mechanisms and your, you know, different protector aspects. But if you didn't have those protector aspects, you wouldn't have stayed alive. And so we have to see that, you know, what once kept us safe is now what's causing our pain as we allow for this ego to die to be put to rest and there's just this I know that for me personally I've been manifesting a lot of distractions lately a lot of distractions to, to keep me from really feeling the fear and worry that I have <laughs> um, that yeah tonight it just is like it's all coming up and it's a valid fear it's a valid worry it's it's valid to be to feel unsafe to know and have so much it's like you're you're gifting taking your best interest in the hands of someone else and it's like we haven't really done this correctly on this planet yet and so of course we would feel afraid of course, of course we would feel this fear of course we would manifest distractions so that we you know didn't have to step into that um line of fire for a lack of better words but um yeah i'm just sitting with this this overwhelming feeling that i need to release and i understand where it's coming from and there's a part of me that wishes that I didn't know so much <laughs> because then I could just play it off like, well, maybe I'm wrong and maybe, maybe that's I not who I think it is. But the only part of me that is doubting is that I can count on somebody else to 
step up and to take my best interest as a part of their own. To really know when to come together when the time is right. To not allow fear to stop the mission. To understand that the worries of this world don't matter and anything that we are afraid of it's not like everything that we are afraid of could literally be resolved in one conversation and it's difficult to know that Yeah, it's difficult to know that and to not have, to just like give your power away and wait for somebody else to leap, knowing that if they don't, then that sucks because we signed up to do this together and my part was to find my people and stand together, but never stand alone. So if I came here to stand with you and you're not going to step forward, then what does that leave for me? To wait for somebody else to step forward? For somebody else to lead me? That would take a long time for... Yeah, I don't know. I'm just praying for a miracle. Ultimately, I know that whatever God has planned for all of us is better than any one of us can conceptualize of. And that this feeling that I'm feeling now is just that last little cry of the ego to hold on to the separate self and it's valid to feel that and it's also safe to surrender it at the same time so I don't even know if this video made sense to most of you but I'm sending you guys love and know that I'm walking with you this is Kendra, the Divine Purpose Mentor. You guys can reach me at KendraDivinePurposeMentor.com. I love you all so very much.